Hey guys, um, throwback Thursday. I just saw this picture as I was coming up the stairs and I thought I would um, share it with you guys. It's my favorite of me and my sisters. That's me. Um, I'm the oldest. That's my sister Nikki and that's my baby sister Cassie who's getting married in July. I feel old. Time goes by so fast. Um, anyways, I got my... Um, baby today, my masterpiece doll. Um, she's super adorable and I will share that with you in a second. Um, I'm not doing a, a box opening. I am sorry. The box was huge. Um, Tristan and I, he's home again sick today. We tried to open it and it was just, it was so awkward and I had everything ready to film and I thought, no, this is too awkward. So she is, um, um, a Sunday, does it say on here? I don't think it, I don't think it does, but she's this one, a Sunday's best, and she's a, a Monica leaving, and she is 68 out of 350, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just gonna flash right to her because I have uh, nothing else, <laughs> nothing else around to focus on. So um, this is her, and I changed her out of her outfit. Um, I am so happy that her clothes fit. Because I was really sad if I would had <laughs> to take them back just because I freaking love that shirt so much. Um, the pants are a little tight, so I'm going to go to Carter's tomorrow, I think, um, and try to get a size 9 maybe. Um, let's take your glasses off. I'm not sure. I think I am. I think I do like the name Lennon. She looks like a fun, wild <laughs> child. Can't you just see this little face, like, getting dirty in the mud and picking up frogs? That's me. My mom is going to watch this. That That is me. She looks like me when I was little. Maybe not so much now. Um, but, yeah, she's a wild child, I think. Oh, my goodness. I just realized. <laughs> I just realized my bras were hanging up in the background. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear me. Oh, dear. Oh, that was a good laugh. Um, so I think she's going to be Lennon. I love it. Um, I wanted to say a few things um, about her. Um, I know in the in a previous video I said the reason why I was getting a masterpiece and not an actual toddler baby was because I just couldn't afford it right now. Um, she herself was quite a bit of money, especially since the Canadian dollar is so horrible right now. So that's what is so horrible for me in the peak of my obsession with dolls right now, um, is the fact that the Canadian dollar is horrible. So if I see a doll that is, um, let's say Brooklyn, she was, I think we got her for 420 and, um, with shipping and the exchange of the dollar and everything, she almost cost me $600. Like it's, it's insanity right now. Um, come on dollar, <laughs> switch up. Anyways, back to Lennon and her beautifulness. Um, I do love her. Um, I do see, like when I was looking at Masterpiece dolls, I was wondering why do they not, um, have like such a big following like why do reborners like there's not a lot of like I couldn't find a lot I could see a lot of pictures on Flickr so there are a lot of people that do collect them but I couldn't find too many like f groups about them or people that were like having fun with them like kind of like we do with reborns and I think it's because they are so um stiff. It's not a natural feeling. She is very stiff. I don't want her to fall over. Um, it is fun. Her head is articulate so it can, like, she can bend down and stuff, but you're, it's very stiff. You're not getting that snuggly, cuddly feeling of a reborn. But that being said, I'm really excited about her. Um, I'm excited to uh, do some fun things with her. Um, I know Emma and I were talking about, like, going to my dad's when it gets a little warmer. He lives right on the lake and like, you know, doing a little swimming video kind of thing. Um, obviously I'm not going to submerge her in the water, but you know, stuff like putting her toes in and stuff like that. I did want to say, um, get a shot. She's got little teeth. Um, she is beautiful. She's a factory, right? Like they're factory made. Um, she is very well made that way. Like her, like, you know, when you take, a 
an American Girl doll out of the box or a Barbie or anything and you kind of move their hands and legs around to make sure everything is um, <clears throat> all working nicely. Like she's like very nice that way. Um, her painting is very lovely. I don't know if this is going to focus or not, but um, her like her nails have already got a couple chips in them. And that was kind of a little sad, but you know, she is a uh, factory made, like there's always, there's flaws in everything, there's there's flaws in reborns, um, whether it's their sculpt or maybe a little paint, but like there's there's flaws in everything, so that's her flaw, I don't know if, if I'll get adventurous and maybe try to get some uh, um, paint of, like that would be good for this type of plastic. Um, I don't know if my mom would have anything. I don't know if we could, I don't even know if I could even put nail polish on her, but that again will eventually chip anyway, so I don't know. Maybe I'll contact the, the company and see what they suggest to do. I just don't really want to ship her all the way back for, for that, for a little chip in the nail. Like, that's nothing. If it was a bigger flaw, then yeah. But, so there she is. She's, I'm sorry about the box opening. I really did try, but it, it just wasn't working. She was so awkward. She was a box inside a box with this box on top of her. Like, it was very awkward. Um, and I'm sorry that I'm not really interacting with her much right now, but I'm holding the camera, um, because I just wanted to do this quickly. I just wanted to share her with you. Um, I want to, um, upload this video, um, because my daughter, when Emma comes home from school today, she doesn't know that I got this little girl, and I think she's gonna like her. I think she's gonna have fun with her as well. Um, she knew I was thinking of a doll like this, like, because I had mentioned going to my dad's and stuff. Like, she knew that I was thinking about this. She saw me looking at the online count. <laughs> the, what, ca what is the word I'm looking for? Catalog. <laughs> I was thinking calendar. Um, she saw me looking at the online cat. <laughs> almost did it again. Catalog and uh, thought they were very beautiful. Um, she thought it was fun that some of them are almost the same size as her. So that's pretty interesting. But yeah, if you did, I hope this video helps in some way. I know I talked a little bit about some of her flaws. Um, oh, she does have, again, I'm doing this with one hand, and I am not very good. Uh, like some of the other people on YouTube can friggin' do it all with one hand. Um, is this gonna show it? Where is that? Oh, there it is. Um, she does have, like, a marking right here that I tried to get off, and it feels kind of raised. Like, I don't know what that would have been, like, uh, some paint? Like, a, I don't know, but anyway, so she's got a frackle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but her face, like, I'm really, her face is very beautiful, beautifully done, so I think that's the most important part, that's the, what you see the most, but sh there she is, and I really do, let me know what you think, what, what names do you like for her, I really do like Lennon, I'm set on Lennon after that running at the park with a little girl, um, I really like it, uh, let me know what you think, and I hope, um, that this, gave you some ideas of what masterpieces are like and uh, I hope to do some more fun videos with her and I'm gonna try to do a fun little reveal with Emma kind of thing I don't know I'll see I'll see I'll try to do it on my phone just a quick little video um, when she comes home from school today but anyways I hope you guys have a great day it's sunny and gorgeous I hear my dog barking so I better go let her in so enjoy the day see you later bye